Do you know what one of the master keys to successful serving is? It's actually a concept that's not talked about enough. It's very, very underrated. And it begins with the letter B. It's balance. Being able to develop balance on your serve is a huge key to your success with serving. Hi, my name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP pro, and I am here to help you today. Regardless of your level, if you're at this video today, we are going to give you tips that are gonna help you create better balance on your serve, which is going to improve power, consistency, accuracy, and everything else that goes with it. So when we talk about balance on the serve, what are some of the concepts to focus on? First of all, let's talk about the stance. This is where things start to really break down when it comes to your balance. So I see players that get in their stance and when they toss the ball, they pick this foot up or they shuffle their feet or they have to move their foot to find the toss. It's, it's very challenging for players and it creates that instability. So you watch all the great players in the world. They have a really stable base, whether they have a platform or, or whether they're in a pinpoint stance and then they move this foot, okay? There are some players that actually have a platform stance and when they toss the ball, they actually move their front foot. But when they put the foot back down, they're still very solid and really able to push through both legs. What I see players that struggle with balance is they toss the ball, they move the foot, and then maybe they just put their toe down or they don't have a lot of weight in the front foot or maybe they move this foot like this and, or, or like this, but they, they don't have a lot of push. They don't have a lot of stability. So if you're going to move one of your feet, if you're gonna move your front foot, when you put it down, you have to be able to push off of it, okay? If you're going to move your back foot, you've gotta be able to push off of it. You have to have that stability. So again, one reason why it happens is because players have an inconsistent toss, so they're chasing the toss and they move their feet. What I would suggest is that you basically say, no matter what, I'm not moving my feet, and if that toss is not in the right place, I am not going to pick up my foot to move it. I will just catch the toss or I will figure out a way to get the toss in the right place. I will not move my feet to chase the toss. I will focus on anchoring these feet and being really solid when I push off. Okay, another way to create more stability or balance is by focusing on your landing. So I went from the beginning, the stance, fast forward to the landing or the finish of the swing. Because I believe that if you get your stance right or the beginning of the swing, the beginning of your base right, and you, f and you finish with a strong base, everything in between can start to sort itself out. Instead of having to analyze each and every single movement, get your start right and get your finish right, and let's see what kind of gains you can make. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate here. And I want you to notice, assuming that you're gonna jump on the serve, I want you to notice my landing, okay? So I land on the front foot. All right, so I land on the front foot with balance. Let's break that down. And I actually intentionally stopped a little bit because I'm gonna show the next concept after. So when I land, I'm landing on this foot and you'll notice you could actually practice this as a strength or balance exercise. I land on this foot slightly bent, okay? This leg is back for balance. It's not off to the side unless I'm hitting a kick serve, but I'm in this position right here. You'll see Djokovic down in this position right here when he's done. So he hits the serve and he lands in that position. Now I don't really advise that for many of you out there because I believe most of you have to be more upright when you land. So one drill that I have players practice is actually hopping after, I learned this from John Yandel, is that when you land, you can hop a couple times because that will bring your body more upright instead of collapsing on the serve. And actually many players, when they collapse, they do lose balance. Djokovic is the exception. He keeps the balance. You have to find what works for you. But again, notice that I'm landing on the front foot with balance. Now I'm not asking you to hold it here. I did this for the sake of the video. Now I'm gonna show you a big key to your balance 
after your land that's gonna make a huge, huge difference. Okay, so what you're gonna focus on is the next step after. This is not talked about much. I, I really don't see coaches talking about it. And it's very, very interesting. I've seen this pattern over and over again. When players land, they take too big of a step after. So they land, and this step goes way into the court like this. I'll show you again. This shows me that a player is not on balance when they're this wide at the end of the swing. I want the, I want the step to be smaller. So I have my players land and take a small step afterwards. So I try to keep the body in here instead of spread out like this. So I make my players land and finish with in this position right here, a narrow base when they land. If they have to go to a wide base, that tells me they were, they were leaning or they were off balance because when you get into a wide base, that's just helping you get that stability that you didn't have. So you wanna land and have this foot be a little narrower. Now, do you wanna focus on this when you're competing? No, it's way too much information. Practice this on your own time. See if you can have your stable base on your serve that you can push off of both feet, whether you're in a platform or a pinpoint stance, you still wanna push off of both feet and land on this front foot with balance and take a little step afterwards. Now, what if you don't jump? A little addendum here. For those that don't jump, that's the ideal that I just gave you. If you don't jump, when you're done with your serve, I just advise taking a small step in like this. You know, again, I see a lot of players like toss the ball, move their feet, kind of jump and go back like this. I, I think that player should just, should just stand here and then just step into the court. No reason to try to jump if you can't jump. No reason to try to jump if you can't land that, if you can't stick the landing. Develop your leg strength and your coordination first, and until that time, just toss and, and take a small step in. The higher you go in levels, the more you're gonna wanna learn how to jump. Okay, let's summarize. Stable base from the start. Don't move your feet right when you toss the ball. You can move the back foot or the front foot as long as you put the foot back down and you're stable, okay? Then, focus on your landing. Stick the landing. Make sure you're a little more upright when you land because that will keep you from falling over. Take a small step in at the end. And then if you don't jump, make sure that you just step in with a small, small step when you're done. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson all about creating more stability and more balance on your serve, a master key that's so underrated. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, turn on your notifications. If you want to get updated on videos that come out, our next releases, subscribe to our channel, tell the folks that love tennis all about our channel. We wanna keep spreading the word. And if you want more free tips and lessons, you can click the link in the description below and the link somewhere in this video. I'm here to help you guys. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you at the next one.